Hi, I'm Morak Dias, and I'm back with another Let's Play. This one, since I think Silent Debuggers started a trend, that I think I'm going to do 10 LPs of FPSs that are kind of hard, or at least gory. And, uh, you know, I had just done Silent Debuggers, and I just went through a monster of a debacle. Um, basically, my onboard sound card decided to take a dump. And then, um, right after that, um, my microphone really stopped working, and I had to go get a new sound card to find that out. And then I got the sound card. And then I got a headset, and that didn't work, so I had to go get another headset, and finally, after a long time, suck pole, um, I, uh, finally got it back up and running. And to, to top it all off, uh, Silent Debuggers have been delayed mostly because, um, I, uh, hold on, I need to turn the volume down a little bit. Um, my internet had basically, huh, well, let's just say it was bad, and I didn't have internet, and it was killing me because I didn't have internet, and, you know, not uploading is usually kind of a pain, and I could get internet enough to, you know, receive emails, but that was probably about it, and even then, my email kind of didn't really work with it, but on less technical notes in my, you know, personal little blog. This is Heretic. Probably one of my favorite um, early first-person shooters. Um, it and all of its sequels, even though I haven't had a chance to play Heretic 2, although I heard that it was better than Hexen 2, which Hexen 2 is pretty bad. But, um, this one is basically made by Raven, which I guess is like a sister company to A Secret is Revealed. And I love these gauntlets. A uh, sister company to ID, id software, whatever. Suck lightning. Um, but they added a few new things to the system that weren't implemented in Doom 2, which probably would have made it a lot better. Um, like the inventory system, which was really nice. But, eh. So, yeah, I'm gonna do a countdown to uh, all ten of them. I think Silent Debugger is my number ten on my classic FPSs that are uh, kind of bizarre horror y. Because honestly, I remember playing these and they were. They terrified me when I was younger. You know, I was like, oh my god, an imp! And, uh, I originally was gonna play them on DOSBox, but DOSBox has a lot of frame rate issues and the gameplay is a little slower. But, um, I don't know, I looked up Z Doom and got that, and that's like the greatest thing ever. I mean, if you have the old games, it's definitely worth a pickup. Um, Pretty much because you can play, you know, Doom, Doom 2, Heretic, uh, Heretic and all of its sequels, except for Heretic 2 and Hexen 2. But, um, oh yeah, I forgot about this. But, uh, it plays a much smoother with, like, modern controls and stuff. Um, so it's actually a lot better. Um, and a lot of the bugs that were in the original. Like, it's pickup rate. Oh, those are Death Knights, I believe. And, uh, yeah, they throw axes, and the red ones really hurt. But, uh, I keep getting off topic, mostly because I'm so excited to actually be doing LPs again. It's been, like, killing me all this week because I keep going, like, well, my new headset will be here soon. And then, you know, UPS screws up and can't find uh, my freaking house. And,. I have to go, like, drive a half an hour to pick up, you know, parts for my new computer. Um, because, well, one, October is, uh, my birthday month, if none of you didn't, or if any of you didn't know. So, 
Yeah. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff from my computer. I got a new hard drive. And, you know, all the stuff, to, you know, help my LPs. Because, honestly, the special LP that I've been waiting to do, and now it's even more of a possibility, pretty much eats up all of the space on one of my hard drives. And, uh, yeah. So, I got a new hard drive. And UPS screwed it up, and I had to drive like a half an hour to the UPS service center, and then the docs is complete. Um, then I ended up getting a headset, um, which my roommate slash girlfriend, who's going to be guest LP uh, from time to time, she got me a headset for my birthday, and also took me out to a fabulous dinner. But oh, I love this music. But um. So, we got it, and they said that they couldn't find our address, and this was, like, two days after I had, like, had all my order problems, and, like, the dude didn't even knock on my door, he just kind of, like, came up and stuck in there and pieced out, kind of thing. And, uh, so, yeah, I was kind of annoyed, and then I finally said, you know what, screw it, I'm going to Best Buy. And, uh, got a headset, tweaked around with it, and finally works. So, I'm hoping I'm a lot clearer than I was, but if there's any sound issues, let me know. Like, if I'm too quiet or anything. But. Yeah. Imps? I hate those imps. They just, like, fly around and piss me off. I mean, other than the, the cacodemon and the whatever, pain elemental or whatever it is in Doom, they really didn't add many flying enemies. Like, a flying boss would have been pretty cool, but, you know, oh well. Anyway, the basic plot to this game is, is that there are, I think, like, four of these Serpent Rider guys who go around from dimension to dimension, screwing things up, and the one who's screwing up this dimension is, I believe, Despairal? I know, it's a very not so interesting name, but he came in and was messing up this dimension. So uh, basically your character is tasked with messing his day up. But, I don't know, this game is a blast, you should definitely play it. It has all these features in Z-Doom where I can like play it online and all this stuff, but like, Who's going to be playing? Like, who's going to be playing this game that came out in, like, I think, 1992? Who's going to be playing that online, like, in, what, 2010? I think not. Suck long. But, I don't know, this game was very paradigm because a lot of people had reservations about, um, like, a kind of fantasy Dungeons and Dragons style like, first person shooter and they thought that it honestly couldn't work and uh, you know they proved them wrong and they proved them wrong until Hexen 2 came out and then that was just a disaster but I don't know it's the same thing as like Quake 3 Arena people like it's very much like a you love it or you hate it kind of game and that is certainly a game I have like no love for I remember uh, getting Quake 3 when it came out, and I was like, oh yes, Quake 2 is amazing, like this is going to be so awesome. And then I like got there, and I was like, and I got it back, and I started playing it, and I was like, what, what is this? This is awful. And, uh, yeah, I played it for probably like a week, and then I was like, never again. Oh, well, nothing could ever get me to play this game ever again. Um, so don't ever expect a Quake 3 LP. It'll never happen. But, yeah, so I figured I'd blow through all the chapters in this. And then I've got a whole bunch of other games, although I will take a suggestion for uh, one of the old FPSs that you'd like to see me do. Um, 
I'm not going to do Duke Nukem because Hell and R.A. just did Duke Nukem and really it doesn't get much better than, you know, some of his comments and uh, it's a good one to check out. But anyway, yes, if you can think of any interesting one, uh, I mean there was one that I played that was really bizarre, it was a basic Doom clone, but uh, uh, it had like a med pack and all this weird stuff. I remember there was no gore in it, but I remember it was a lot because I remember it being able to be modified and you could bring it in the Doom editor and it wasn't Chex Quest before anybody says. I know what Chex Quest is and it certainly was not Chex Quest. But uh, I never even heard of Chex Quest until I picked up Z Doom. But, uh, I can't even remember what it was. I got it on, like, a, a demo disc from, like, PC Gamer, back when PC Gamer was, like, maybe ten pages long. It was, like, practically, like, a rag magazine when it first came out. Um, but, yeah, it came with this weird demo, and I have never seen or heard of the game. I looked up, like, a complete list of FPSs on Wikipedia, which is totally unhelpful in every every meaning of sense. Freaking die. Stupid games. But um Yeah, I mean I found some bizarre ones in there and they missed like a crap ton of FPSs. And I don't edit on Wikipedia, I just don't touch that. Like Wikipedia is where I go for information, not where I put my information. I'm gonna save because I don't wanna die in this trap. Um, I know one of the LPs that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be saving every, like, 12 seconds. I know it's going to be, like, kind of painful, but there's going to be a few moments in it, and there'll be lots of cursing, maybe a little crying. Hopefully not that much crying. Ugh. But, I don't know. I've also debated doing Lunar 2, but... I just don't think I'm prepared to go through a whole another RPG again, and I still have my big LP, which was another one, and I know I keep mentioning it, and you guys have no idea what it is, but yeah, that, that cooked me on RPGs for a little while, and I have to post-process all of it, so all the commentary is after the fact, which kind of sucks, because you miss out on like curses, and all sorts of general frustrations. You know what? Enough of you have suck on! But, um... So... I don't know. At some point I'm gonna do that, but... I have no idea why. Winds of Wrath! Winds of Wrath are like the most coveted item in these games, and honestly they're pretty easy to find. They make you fly, and I think flying is completely useless in this. Like, yeah, it helps you get, like, a couple items, and I think there's one level where you can Mario Brothers it. Just skip right through it. Like, I could probably fly up here and get those, but I could just come down here and hop on this platform and I'd be on it. It's also really nice, because I'm playing this on a controller, which since there's not a lot of buttons to it, um, it makes it really easy to play. It actually makes it more comfortable and convenient. Although there's some games that are just like nigh impossible to play with this. Like I would totally play Doom on this controller. Alright, hopefully I can finish this up quick enough. At least get through this level. I probably can. Yeah, stop beating me to death and die. Uh, okay. Honestly, is that freaking wild? Nice try. There we go. Alright. Well, I'm gonna stop it right here. Floating Golden Skulls! And this has been Morak Dice for Let's Play Heretic. See you later!